In the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. <laughs> Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities. Who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from destruction and crowns you with steadfast love and tender mercy. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have been. Put not your trust in princes and sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When their breath departs, they return to their earth. On that very day all their plans perish. Blessed is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed low. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the orphan. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages amen holy begotten son and word of god you are immortal for our salvation you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of god and ever virgin mary 
and without change be given man. You were crucified, Christ God trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Pause. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth, earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people shall revile you and persecute you and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Bethlehem, prepare for Eden, has been open to all. Ephrathah, adorn yourself, for the tree of life blossoms forth from the virgin in the cave. Her womb is a spiritual paradise planted with divine fruit. If we eat of it, we shall live forever and not die, as Adam did. Christ comes to restore the image which he made in the beginning. Soaring with love for him who holds you in his hands, you were shown to be a God-bearer, O oh, Ignatius. You finished your course in the West and pitched your dwelling in the unwaning day of the heavens. O oh, righteous Father, entreat Christ our God to grant us his great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The day glory struggles, heralds the one to be born of a virgin, for thirsting for his presence. You hasten to be devoured by wild beasts, Therefore you were named God, O glorious Ignatius. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Bethlehem, rejoice Ephrathah and Grant. Behold the Lamb and Great Shepherd is coming, the Virgin is on her way to give birth 
to the one she carries in her womb. The God-bearing fathers rejoice at this sight, and together with the shepherds, they will glorify the virgin nurse. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy Holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy. The saints shall boast in glory, and they shall rejoice upon their beds. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise is in the church of his saints. The reading from the Epistle to the Hebrews. Brethren, recall the former days when after you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion on the prisoners, and you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property since you knew that you yourselves had a better possession and an abiding one. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have need of endurance, so that you may do the will of God and receive what is proclaimed. For yet a little while, and the coming one shall come and shall not tarry, but my righteous one shall live by faith. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your priests shall be clothed with righteousness, and your righteous shall rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord has elected Zion. He has chosen her to be a habitation for himself. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Jesus and his disciples came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you discussing on the way? But they were silent. For on the way they had discussed with one another who was the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and put him in the midst of them. And taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him, for no one who does a mighty work in my name will be able soon to, after to speak evil of me. 
for he that is not against us is for us. For truly I say to you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose his reward. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantelemon ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, especially Father Daniel, Matushka Elizabeth, Matushka Catherine, Matushka Myra, the monk Meletius, Ross, Justin, Stephen, Marion, Roger, Nancy, Claire, Patricia, Mark, Nikolai, Anastasia, Alice, Kathleen, Denise, Denise, Pamela, Robert, Peter, Eric, Michael, Melissa, Marianne, Ryan, Joanne, Rosemary, Marianne. Emily, Charles, Hank, Nicholas, Katrina, Mary Jane, Nicholas, Alicia, Mary Jo, Clara, Joan, Sarah, Alex, Nicholas, Barbara, Margaret, Patricia, Danielle, Nicholas, Tricia, Christopher, Susan, Kathleen, Walter, Patty, Darlene, George, Paul, Michael, Pantalitza, Dorina, Robert, Timothy, Diana, Diana, Artemis, Jackie, Natalie, Julia, Arthur, Dorina, Andrew, Joseph, Arnold, and B and all those we cannot call to mind, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you.
Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, especially the Archpriest Igor, the Archpriest John, Michael, Cornelia, Vasily, Paraskiva, Mariana, Victoria, Margaret, Catherine, Raymond, and all those we cannot call to mind, and all those who have departed this life throughout the ages, in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, in your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed, for there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life, O Christ our God, and to you we send up glory with your eternal Father and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kitty Eleison, Kitty Eleison, Kitty Eleison. Duam ne milu yashte, Duam ne milu yashte, Duam ne milu yashte. Hospode pomiloi, Hospode pomiloi, Hospode pomiloi. O Holy Trinity, coessential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me, enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns, and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be ready, and, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord, he is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints. 
because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. It is truly proper to bless you, birth giver of God, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word, True birth giver of God, we magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. <clears throat> 